it is a movement that began among Afro-Jamaicans. Their aim was to reject the British colonial culture that dominated Jamaica, and replace it with a new identity based on a repossession of their African heritage. Rastafari Also known as Rastafarianism, is a religion that developed in Jamaica during the 1930s. In this video, Somi Arts will take you through history, beliefs, and organization of Rastafarianism. As we continue, if you have not subscribed to Somi Arts, please click the subscribe button below. Rastafari is Afrocentric connecting blackness with the African continent and endorsing a form of Pan-Africanism. Rastas typically believe that black Africans are God's chosen people who made a covenant with God and thus have a special responsibility. Rastafari advocates the view that the true identity of black Africans has been lost and need to be reclaimed. Most Rastas share two fundamental moral principles which they refer as the two great commandments. These two principles are loving God and loving one's neighbor. Rastafari teaches that the black African diaspora are exiles living in Babylon. Babylon to them means Western society. Rastafari beliefs are based on a specific interpretation of the Bible. Rastas believe in existence single God who they refer as Jar. The term Jar is a shortened version of Jehovah, the name of God in English translations of the Old Testament. Jar is believed to partially reside within each individual and Rastas should consult his presence within themselves anytime they would like to do something. Rastas refer to their cultural and religious practices as liberty. They does not place emphasis on hierarchical structures. Rastas have no professional priesthood. They believe that there is no need for a priest to act as mediator between the worshipper and divinity. Rastas accord key rank to Haile Selassie. The emperor of Ethiopia who reigned between 1930 and 1974. Many regard him as the Jar incarnate. Others perceive him as a human prophet who fully recognized Yah's presence in every individual. Rastas believe that the Bible's true meaning has been distorted, both through mistranslation into other languages and by deliberate manipulation with the aim of denying black Africans their history. Rastas believe that the Bible was originally written on stone in the Ethiopian language of Amharic. Jesus is an important figure in Rastafari although practitioners reject the traditional Christian view of Jesus, particularly the portrayal of him as a white European. They believe that this is a caricature of the truth that Jesus was a black African and that the white Jesus was a false god. Rastas regard Christianity as the creation of the white man. Rastas treat Christianity with distrust. This is because of the view that the white Europeans who are the oppressors cannot share the same God with the black Africans who are the oppressed. For this reason, they view Christian preachers as deceivers and Christianity as an item of furthering the oppression of the Africans. In fact, they refer Christianity as mental enslavement. Rasta men are permitted multiple female sex partners while women are expected to reserve their sexual activity for one male partner. The principal ritual of Rastafari is the smoking of marijuana, also known as ganja or cannabis. Among the names that Rastas give cannabis are the herb, the holy herb, the grass, and most commonly as the weed. In Rastafari, cannabis is considered a sacrament. Rastas argue that the use of ganja is promoted in the Bible, specifically in Genesis, Psalms, and Revelation. Rasta music is performed to praise and commune with Yah, and to reaffirm the rejection of Babylon. Dear viewer, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to Somi Arts, please remember to subscribe. Thank you for your continued support.